Oh guys, hello, hello, hello half, hello fab, hello doom, hope you're all doing well, oh yes, yeah, sorry, hello to the lurkers too, of course. Why? Why spam that across my screen? Get me. Pogus, 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 pogus. It sounded like it was saying ass then for a second. Still had it audio, yes I did. I could have pressed another button to do that, but I forgot what button it is and I can't be fucked pressing them all. <laughs> yeah, sure half. Is this a new new copy past or is it Feb? No, it is not. Look, it says right here. Associated with youth. Youth and a Appearance. I am not youth, and I have no appearance. So I'm not cute. No, that's no. God damn it. Uh, sorry, I'm just checking on some. Oh, what? Right, whatever. No, this is this sounds a bit different, but I I've also got there's another name for that. I don't need to call them that. You can call them Tazos. Tazos, however you want to pronounce it. Because that was a brand of those things too. Oh my god. Is is Fab just like copying and pasting Wikipedia things or something? Hi guys, how you doing today? I really do need to get some ambient noise for for this scene, don't I? I know I keep saying it, but then I'm Lazy. <laughs> Alright. How about we get to this um, game, shall we? No. No fab. God damn it, Bat. All right. Hey, I figured out where, how we find out what chapter we're actually on to. 
I'll never be in your fab. It's not gonna happen. So, uh, we find it in the load button. Because we can't save, but we we get a we get a save at the start of every chapter it seems, and the auto save. Hey Sage, hope you're doing well. Hope your stream went well earlier. So yeah, we're on two point four. Yeah, I'm good. That's good. Going by its name, we're about to uncover some bullshit going on. Well, well, no, well, that's Gigantic good. Gigantic energy implications if handled correctly. Exposed to the right level of radiation. Hmm. Or oh, heat activation potential. Hmm. Uh, Professor? Yes, Harold, yes. These glowing particles I swabbed from fish's skin might not be that spectacular on their own. But they do have their own kind of beauty, you see? Please slow down. I don't see it all. You will, when you inspect them under a microscope. They seem to give off an inner light, and since I've been looking, it's not dimmed at all. So, they're a light source? More than that. They might be our miracle. Our only hope of relaunching on time. Whoa, so they're a power source. Quite so. Light is an uh -oh. energy, so I thought about testing their effect on our bacteria cultures. Watch this. Look, when the particles interact, the cultures undergo massive mitosis and give off enough radiation. Ah, it's growing. It's going to outgrow the dish. What if it never stops growing? <laughs> Not to worry, it does. And you can, uh, when you kill it, the growth, like so. Ah, Whew. okay. That's very cool, but isn't it dangerous? Only if someone much less meticulous than I tried the same little experiment wrong. Ha! Yes, you'd be chasing down rogue bacteria for hours. So keep this to yourself for now. You don't have to ask me twice. So, the particles clearly have fantastic proportional kinetic potential at even a moderate temperature. And crucially, their rate of radiation is highly regulated. Now we need to know more. Okay, well, soon as Fishy is awake again, I'll ask. See that you do. Now, let's get over to the arcades. We don't want to miss the new start procedure presentation. Yeah, that's... <sighs> We're about to get told to hunt down Send all the Fishy Doris. people, huh? It is my almost incalculable pleasure to introduce these two demonstrations today. Each will explore a different potential relaunch procedure in model form, giving you all a realistic look at the science behind it all. Not that it will affect our decision on which to prioritize in any way, but please do cheer for your favorite. Without further ado, please welcome Cyrus, Soleil, and his representative computer model simulation of the factors involved in a relaunch to the stage. Okay. Hi, everyone. Thanks uh, for coming, I mean, to watch this presentation. Uh, there's a lot of science, Awkward. so I thought I'd just show you the computer model. <clears throat> so, uh, here it goes. Yeah, this is highly understandable. Chip. This is not supposed to. Uh, but you see, in a way, this proves the importance of considering every angle. And with just a few calibrations, I'm sure 
That's quite enough, Cyrus. Thank you. Moving swiftly on. Slipmeyer, will you please present Flo and Go to the audience, please? Absolutely, Madam CEO. Please witness the future of Fedora. A launch plan not just to the stars, but for the superstars you all are. The following presentation is brought to you by the Schlipmeyer Foundation. Putting trust in humanity's dreams for hope. In partnership with All Water Corp, making life flow. And sponsored by Slippy's Winter Sports Goods. Chill sake. times all year round. The Fedora. Our home. Trapped. Together. All of us. Underwater. But no more. It's time we grabbed Destiny with both hands and say, Destiny, meet Project Flow and Go. We begin by rolling up our sleeves for some good old-fashioned hard work. Starting with making the Fedora whole again. Once we're back in one piece and good as new, apart from a few seaweed stains and a little rust, we'll utilize the awesome power of Slippy's patented aircon technology to freeze the ocean water around the base of the Fedora. Why? Well, did you know ice is 9% denser than water? That's what makes those ice cubes float on the top of your soda. Are you catching on? Here comes the kicker. The giant ice flow attached to the fedora will rise up from the depths and help us go back into the atmosphere. Once we're airborne again, we'll have to say goodbye to our flow, but we'll never forget it and reignite not just our thrusters, but also our hopes and dreams. Yep, I'm sure this plan will work. Let Slippies and the Fedora, powered by Slippies Aircon technology, take you there. Well, I think it's fair to say the people have spoken. But I thought you said it wasn't a vote. It's not. I just happen to agree with them. I'm not convinced your uh, model is quite up to the rigorous standards we need. Slip Meyer's model shows a lot of vision and attention to detail. It didn't show any attention to detail that matters, just sparkles and... I think it's best we, um, put a freeze on your project, Cyrus. I'm sure you have much more important things to do for the station. No hard feelings, eh, Cryus? Mmm, no, it's... Wait, what did you call me? We all want what's best for the fedora, eh? Wish me luck! Yep, well, everyone's fucked. Hmm, something is afoot. Too many things that don't add up. And you know how I hate bad arithmetic. Right. Like why my model failed. And why all water went with a patently observed option. And why the tube fares keep going up. Yes, and why... Wait, no. Harold, I really don't think that part is connected. And why did they want us to keep going without letting us know about Slippy? Now that I think about it, there was something weird about his presentation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He seemed even more infuriatingly self-important than ever. Okay, name-calling isn't going to get us anywhere. Let's look at the facts. There's the energy shortage that Bridget told me about. We know which star procedure is most popular, even though it'll never work. Oh, oh! Maybe they're planning on that. Hmm. Are you positing a secret all-water plan shielded by a deliberately untenable public one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, you mean Slippy's right? Yes, I mean Slippy's, but yours is clearly missing something too. I, I know, but the foundations are sound. I just I want us to, to point not leave. Wrong. Did you double check the velocity correction? Uh, of course, but the power differential. Yes, yes, I know, but that doesn't mean anything without a variable energy diffusal. So you keep saying, but unless we run the model enough times, if I could just... All models are false, so... All very good and well to say, but we have to base our tests on something. A waste of time without more information first. We'd be the blind leading the... Every new step opens up new vistas. What is that supposed to mean? That if we just start, We'll have more information with which to... I don't know why you're bringing philosophy into this. It's a matter for science. Hey, philosophy is a science of the mind. Well, do you mind focusing on the science of 
Yeah, the variable energy diffusal, yes, yes, I know. Well, if you know, then why can't we model it first? But you said all models are wrong. Turn a phrase. Don't get caught up on semantics. Well, I wonder He's still if my hopeless, source huh? data is erroneous. I'm sure I checked my calculations. You're blaming the source data now? I'm not blaming it. I'm accusing it. You'd know if you'd interrogated the velocity correction ranges. Of course, but the power differential... Yes, yes, I know. But that doesn't mean anything without a variable energy diffusal. So you keep saying, but unless we run the model enough times... All models are false, okay. so... Well, all very good and well to say, but we have to base our tests on now. something. Oh, wait. We got a lot of messages, what the hell? Where... Where's show? Where's home? God damn it. Meet, meet us in the toilets. Come alone. Make sure you're not being followed, the light keepers. Okay, light keepers. It's a... Uh, sure. I would notice you still haven't fixed the leaky tap. Like I asked you, asked you to. It's driving me mad. I know you're busy, but a mind like mine needs optimum conditions. Okay. That didn't give me a task. Harriet Cyrus. Did I leave my oscillator at the lab the other day? Okay. Harold, it's... Uh... Shea, whatever. How have you been? What's new? Just give them random messages from everyone, huh? Oh, now Sunny is spamming us, huh? Okay, half. Take it easy. Uh, Harold, it was great to see you again. Been too long. Don't be a stranger, you be good. Hey, Harry. Was just thinking about your ill friend. I'm sending you positive vibes, okay? You too. Go, oh, you are. You, yeah, 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 no. Hello, Harold. I've been thinking long and hard about what you asked me last time, and I've made my mind up. The cutest fish is definitely a splendid speckled, speckled belly. Don't, and don't try to argue. Okay. Guess we're going to the toilets. We can't talk to fishy. All right. Hello. Ah! Who? What? Don't panic. I'm a friend. Well, friends shouldn't scare other friends. What's this all about? Can you go into the shower and close the door? This is a strictly off the record conversation. Okay. I mean, okay. What's happening here? Okay, okay. Listen. We need a man we can trust. Who is we? Oh, right. Yeah, the light keepers. What? The light keepers? Uh, yeah, that's us. Whoa. It's totally not so Felix. How many of you are there? Well, it's just me in here. But, I mean, there are lots of light keepers. We are Legion. I'm one of them. An important one. Wow. So, how do you know you can trust me? I mean, you can. But, how did you know that... I guess you have eyes and ears everywhere. Secret informants and... and... Yeah, all of that stuff. You can recommend it by a secret source. Right. Wow, okay. So, what do you need? What we need is proof. All water are planning something. We know it. We just can't prove it yet. Yes. How can I get proof? I am not very actually a uh, detective. Actually? When? Oh, just listen. The shaft above here leads to the CEO's office. But we know there's going to be an important meeting happening there shortly. 
Ah, yes, that shaft is freezing. Thanks to Slippy's new and improved AC. We know, but we planned around it. First, you'll need to procure a small camera. Our intel has narrowed the location of one down to Moreau's lab. You'll need to distract her, steal the camera, and make it back to us undetected. Oh, okay. I think I can do that. Good. Time is of the essence. Meet me back here as soon as you have the goods. Will do. Okay. How do you know about the meeting, by the way? A network of hidden informants? Ah, uh, no. We just snooped in the CEO's diary during one of our open door policy days. Oh, okay. I suppose I'd better get to it. Godspeed, Slippery Fish. Wow, I get a call name? Yes, and good luck. All right, then. Hey, still a camera. Slippery fish, right. I don't remember seeing a camera in here, but sure. Looking for something, Harold? Uh, um, uh, I'm looking for the, you know, the little video camera. Ah, uh, yes. The Pentasonic Mark II. If you say so. Have you seen it? Of course I have. What you mean is, do I know where it is now? Yes. Do you? No. Ah. I really need a professor. I'm too busy to help you rummage around. Anyway, didn't you have it last? We're doing a bad Did job. I? It's just I'll check stealing it, it unnoticed. Sure it's not in there, though. All models are full, so all very good and well to say, but we have to face our... <laughs> No. Maybe. Oh. Yep, Let's there it looks a like a look camera there. Doodad. Oh, the camera. Excellent. Yep, totally wasn't in the room. Why did you have the camera in your room, Harold? Then why can't we model it first? But you said all models are far. Turn of phrase. Back to the toilets. Okay, here you go. Let's see. Yes. Perfect. Let me just make a few quick modifications. Okay, okay just stuck uh, it in a car. What's all this? Model cam. Huh? What's it going to do? Mobile secret reconnaissance, of course. Come on, let's get going. We don't want to miss anything important. Okay, so what should I do with it? Start by placing it in the shaft. Then you'll need to use the remote controls to navigate it to the CEO's office. Then you'll need to find a good view to record it all from, drive it back out of the shaft and into our welcoming arms, all in the name of truth. Right. Okay. I think I can do that. You don't want to drive? I would, but uh, I'm not so good with remote spatial awareness, and, you know, someone like you has experience with control panels. Oh, well, if you're sure. Right-o, Motocam. Let's take you for a drive. Why is E accelerate? This is stupid. Like, why couldn't it have just been W? Are they... Oh, I missed... I overshot the, the rats. Because the... It's meant to be killing them. The cold. Hey, checks. I'll hydrate in a sec. Oh, there's a rat. Let's not give a shit. Still so stupid. This is on fucking E. Oh, 
Okay, Madam CEO, I'll be going now. Yes, I believe you should. Not sure how we're moving the camera Godspeed, like this, but whatever. Godspeed. Yes. Is that Dr. Computer? Dr. What? Computer. What? It's me, Castle Chop. The password. Oh, for goodness sake, must I? Okay, fine. It's Kutsu Hun Shiny Prize. I'm just calling to say you may commence stage D as discussed. Do you have everything you need? Very well. Keep me in the loop. Time is of the essence. Yes, yes, okay, okay. Goodbye, Doctor, and don't let me or the fedora down. What's your drawing today, right Jex? 8 R 3 M M 4 Open. Oh, hello, my lovelies. Listen to your beautiful purring. So nearly a perfect okay. harmony, but just missing that one last voice. I'll find you one eventually, wherever you are. Oh, hi. Okay, then. Oh, wow. Oh, gee. What can you see? Don't shut me out here. I'll tell you later. We've got to get to the lab. Slippery fish, wait, what about the mission? Uh, wait, wait, what did you see? Slippery fish, you can't go without a debriefing. Come back. I'm here. Tell them what's going on, Slippery fish. We're main. Really early and drew other peeps like so she and Strix. Oh, that's cool. You can always post them in my Discord if you want. Professor, Psy. Oh, hey, Harold. What's got you more jumpy than a caffeinated frog, hmm? Wait till you see this. I'll just get it hooked up. Okay, I'm waiting. Phase D? Dr. Computer? This opens a whole box of questions. Yeah, if you ask me, it's more of a parcel of intrigue. I wasn't and won't be asking you. Anyway, only one thing is for certain in all this mess. We must continue with the alternative start sequence post haste. How on Fedora did you get this, Harold? It's a long story, but it all started when I... I'm sure you were very heroic, but it can wait. We've got to act fast. And we should be careful who we trust. Quite so. Oh, nice. In fact, Cyrus, I think you should continue your work in the small room downstairs. It's out of sight and should have what you need. Okay. The really small one? Don't whine. Anyway, I have to see Bridget to tell her about all of this. Harold, can you take the box of computer stuff downstairs for Cyrus? We'll do. Great. Okay, everyone, let's get on with it. That's oh, Twitch not playing nice with for you, guess. Sorry to hear that. Okay, carrying a box. The excitement of this game. Yeah. Hmm, but if that equals x minus one, what about but that would change the square of Um Psy? Hmm? Oh. Oh yeah. Hey. Hmm. I've got this box of computer stuff for you. Oh. Uh thanks, Harold. Uh just put it on the table. Sure you don't need me to stick my screwdriver in anything? Oh god. Hmm? Harold. No, no, I think it's fine. I was just remember when anyway, what are you working on? Well, this place isn't exactly my usual setup. I need to expand the filter station control system with these parts. Then I can run the tests I need and access the thrusters. 
Drat, this is going to be tricky. Different gens of Servotech. The old Fedora firewall's blocking me out, so that the connections might not talk properly to each other. Oh no, that'd be lonely. Yeah. <laughs> Wording we could yeah. go ask Raffi if they can help open a few ports and maybe disable the firewall. I've not a moment to lose. Sure. What should I tell them? Uh, just that I need their system protocol expertise. Appeal to their vanity? Can do. Back soon. No, oh, that's looking good, Jack. Now, what am I meant to be doing? Ask Graffy for help. So I just want you to ask Graffy in the arcade. Uh, oh yeah, that's the arcade, yeah. The arcade guy that doesn't want to talk to us. Faster. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. You may now exit the tube. Thank well, that was his running. This is his walking. For choosing to travel with us today. Hi, Secretary Seventeen. How are you doing, Mr. Halibut? Can I help you? No. See the relaunch presentation lens in? I did indeed, Alon. That slippy fellow is annoying, isn't he? Certainly is. Pretty shaky scientific principles, too, if you ask me. And what do you know about the scientific principles of a relaunch? Not a great deal, Zim. But I know when someone's talking the talk instead of walking the walk, if you catch me drift. That Cyrus chap didn't fare too well, though, did he? He walked the walk with no talk, then fell over anyway. That's right, Zim. But I liked him. Ernest. Cyrus, he was called. I know, Zim. I mean, he was sincere, though. I'm more inclined to trust a man like that. Well, doesn't seem like either of our options are much cop, eh? Not much cop at all. Still, be nice if it does happen. Change of scenery and all that. Seems like a lot of effort to swap the endless ocean for the endless ocean of stars to me, Alon. And what if we find a new planet to rest on, Zim? What if we don't, Alon? What if we don't indeed? Well said, Alon. Well said. It would be better than being stuck in another water, would it not? Uh, not go upstairs. Over here. I do wonder if there's something for getting right. to the end of the games. What is it now? Cyrus needs help with some pretty important research. So I came to ask, is there any chance you could help disable a firewall for him? It's stopping him from accessing the systems he needs for the research. Could you be any less specific? Uh, no, but... Of course. I know what you mean anyway. Oh, how... I mean, great. So, you'll help? Afraid not. Any Rip. system Cyrus is struggling to access is old. That stuff isn't my responsibility anymore. I know, but it'd be a huge favor. Plus, messing with that might have knock-on effects. Might even mess with my cabinets here. Oh, I see. Well, um, any tips for doing it ourselves? Have you tried turning it on and off again? Oh, I'll you said it backwards. That. Thanks anyway, Rafi. You said it backwards, Rafi. Fuck's sake. Subtitles had it right. Like, of course it's not gonna work if you turn it on and then off. 
because then it will be all. Dumbass. I don't know if I should bother trying to get all the rings or just try and get to the end. So we're nearly up to the part that keeps killing me. Go through it that time. Oh, piss off! Ugh. It looked like we might have been at the end, too. Superman 64, yeah. <laughs> this camera controls are horrible because you don't get, you don't control the camera. I don't even know why there's a time. Like, why would you have a time where you can't, like, speed up or anything? So there's no point keeping track of the time, because the time's always going to be the same. Oh no, actually you can. Pressing E... kind of does some weird boost. I don't know if it actually speeds you up. <laughs> no, I don't know. I just, I don't know what it does. So I feel like I'm going slower now. I don't know. All right, let's not play with it. It did seem like I was going slower though, for whatever reason. <sighs> yeah, I don't know if you can get all the rings. Like, that part where you've got to dash side to side, it seems a bit impossible. The evil part is the dive down and the, um, you got to pull back up. The bit that's come just about to come up. This bit here, because you can't see shit. There, yeah, that bit. Are we done? No. Uh oh. It just loops. Well, now... Well, that's boring. Could have at least have had an end. Fish, a majestic soul. But what secret motivations do their movements reveal? Major? <clears throat> um, yes, Harold, uh, what is it? Just passing through and thought I'd ask what you thought. You know, about the relaunch presentation. Like, yes, they're the most well, gameplay in you know, this game. I don't go in for that kind of thing. 
No, of course. Oh, what kind of thing? Conjecture. It's all a lot of hot air. But don't you think we need to relaunch? Perhaps. But we must retain order in the meantime. Getting too excitable isn't going to help anyone. I suppose. Anyway, I have observations to make. Okay, Major. See ya. Hmm. If, if the light keepers are many, I wonder if Major is part of it. It's because he's wondering about fish. Or he just could be Destination being weird like everyone else. It's it's so weird that like when the the crash right it's with the the spaceship up that they made these water tubes instead of just reconnecting the ship. Uh, bird. hi. Hang on, that's Zoya's bird. Wait, come here. Got in front of it. Oh god. Oh. Okay, Professor Spider-Man. Good shot. I'm not just a pretty face, you know. Now, do you have any idea what this feathery menace is doing here? He could have damaged all sorts of sensitive equipment. <sighs> yeah, I think I might have an idea. I'll deliver her back to her rightful owner. Okay, if you say so. Just see that she doesn't get if you say so again. Right. Just like, yeah, you're not gonna do that, whatever. I don't I don't believe you. Everyone's so nice to Harold. Captain at large Zoya? Hello again. Uh, Coco! Yeah, I found her in the lab. She seemed very excited about something. Is she okay? Yep, I think so. Moreau had to help me catch her. Hence the net. Ah, oh, Coco, you mischievous little thing, you. Causing your captain to worry and making trouble for everyone. Don't ever change. Well, I'm glad you're back together. Thank you, Harold. If you ever want to come and visit, please feel free. You should see her peeling a nut. It's hilarious. And the way she dances when I put music on. Thanks, Sawyer. I might pop by another time. See you, Coco. Okay, so doesn't this lift up where the chair is? Uh, okay, goodbye. You're not worrying, okay, whatever. the lab location nominated journey commencing all water thanking you thank you for traveling oh, for a second i thought that dude had caddy's headphones <laughs> right We don't. Oh, they left. Hey, Sai. Bad news. Rafi couldn't help. G good news. I got it working. How? Uh, yeah, typical, right after you left. Uh, 
Yeah, sorry, I forgot to message you. I got distracted verifying part one of my double checklist uh, by testing the velocity of a plant stock in a variety of energetic states while varying the atmospheric pressure. Harold? Mm hmm. Yes? Well, thanks for asking him, though. That's okay. Good luck with the rest of the checklist. Yes, I'll get back to it. <laughs> Yay. Don't you like doing pointless activities? Hey Harold, what do you say to a drink or two? You're on me, I'm at the dry zone whenever you're ready. Wondering if you have to open them properly to get quests? No. Okay. Oh. Why did we draw this picture? Oh, that's right, the professor webbing the bird. Right, okay. When this activity is pointless, that's your job, is it? Are you sure? Alright, apparently we're off to the arcade again. when you transition is still highly annoying. Oh, these two finally left the fucking place. Hey there, Tommy. Oh, uh, Harold, you came. Sit down, let me get you a drink. Thanks, Tommy. I'll have whatever you're having. A man of fine taste. So, how's life? Oh, uh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary whatsoever. Definitely just the same as always. Okay then. Yep. So Not hiding anything. To say about that blue rock. Ah, uh, it wasn't your fault, Tommy. I know, I know, but boy did I feel like I had egg on my face. Those darn light keepers, eh? Always messing about in other people's business. Yeah, but I don't think they're so bad. I'm sorry they smashed your window, but they seem to have good stuff in mind. Well, you've got good stuff at heart, and you didn't need to break my window. But hey, what do I know? How is the shop going? Ah, uh, just fine. The sign has given things a bit of a boost, but new stock has been a bit slow. I'd love to scale back the time I spend there a bit, you know? Spend more time with Bridget. Especially now she's working so much again. Yeah, it must be hard. Life has definitely become more busy recently. You got that right. It's good to have someone to talk to. Someone who doesn't mind my grouching. No way do I mind, Tommy. Grouch all you want. Thanks, Harold. I'll get back to grouching soon, but hey, how about you? Those filters keeping you on your toes? The filters? Why? Have you seen something? What? No, no reason at all. I got no special interest in the filters. Just making conversation. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard from Filter Frankie in a while. Guess he's taking it easy. Oh, sorry. Well, the filters are also totally normal, just like always. Okay, good. Well, here's to the filters, eh? So you think Long Filter Frankie is the fish? Optimal capacity. Cheers. Cheers. So come on, you must have something you want to grouch about. <laughs> well, sure. Don't even drink. But I try not to, you know, focus on it. Come on, come on, it's your turn. Don't make me do all the grumbling. Okay. Well, the tube tickets are pretty annoying. The rules change faster than I can keep up. I swear they do it just to confuse you into making mistakes so they can fine you. And it's not like they work all the time anyway. So what are you paying for? I just wish it was easier to get around, you know, without worrying all the time.
Okay. The end. <laughs> no. Still got a bit to do. Tony? It's gotten late. I, I think I should... I think I should get back home. Okay, Harold. Sounds like a plan. Apparently we're drunk. Thanks for sharing a few drinks with this old grumbler. Get home safe. Oh, we don't even get to stumble home. I shouldn't look at the chapter name. Yeah, you don't want fishy. What's up, fishy? Long time no see, huh? Hope you're having fun, fishy dreams. We <gasps> oh, did I just did I hear you just wheel? It's okay. It's okay. We're not going to hurt you. God, of course they don't understand me. What can I use? A pineapple. A pineapple. Uh, no. What else? <laughs> don't panic or die. Please. Just wait. Come on, Harold. Think. What's on these papers? Ah, just Burroughs' notes. Nothing I can use. Harold, what are you dithering over? Awake. He said, we you. What? They're awake and attempt to communicate? Yes, I'm trying to tell them what's going on, but... They seem to have fainted again. Harold, you said they said we you. Anything else? And some skis? Skis? Pineapple? Notes? Professor, I've got it. Pineapple Helga the Mountaineer. Harold, are you feeling okay? Maybe it's something contagious after all. Right. No, Moreau, I could use a picture book to talk to Wii U. I mean, communicate with Fishy. I'm sure Chris will have some at the school. Hmm, not a bad idea at all, Harold. I'll fetch some recording equipment too, in the meantime. We're going to need plenty of samples if we're to decipher an alien tongue. What? You can't take their tongue? You clown. Harold, you idiot. I mean their language. Okay. But what if they wake up again? Life signs are stable, and I don't think they're going anywhere quite yet. Go on, go! Yes, I, uh, yeah. Yes. The Wii U, yeah. Um. I don't know why she's caring so much about the fishy being alive. Like, she took samples, and the glowy stuff that's on their skin she wants to use as a power source so that means we would need to farm them which is uh you know you know not good all right so we're gonna go to the school I do wonder how much we we we've spent on these stupid water tubes. On a satisfactory journey for some reason. Just contact your nearest uh, and all water will make it up to you. I've been paying attention because I'm at a charity event. That's all good. Go just kick the fucking door in. Oh, hey, hello. I need some books. What you here? Chris I need some pictures. Uh, uh anything in particular? And you do know God, I'm not an art teacher. I just need a book. Uh, a kid's book, like Pineapple Helga the Mountaineer. Well, I'm glad you asked, Harold, but maybe you should be challenging yourself a bit. Uh, yes, I will. 
but I just need to relax. Please, Chris. Hmm. Okay, Harold. I'll bring you one later tonight when I'm done. Ah, no. I really need it now. Harold, uh, are you okay? You seem so stressed. Yeah, that's why you need a book. Maybe you do really need a nice book. Okay, I'll get you one now. But you'll have to watch the Bambinos while I'm gone, okay? Yes, sure. Thank you, Chris. Thanks. Okay, okay. You sure you're okay, Harold? No, uh, whatever happens while I'm gone, just don't let them under your skin. Okay, Harold, mustache. Don't let them bully you. Uh, Chris, what? Uh, wait. Ciao, Harold. Ciao, Bambinos. Don't cause them any trouble, okay? Okay. Okay. Now, kids. Are you a teacher? No. Where is Mr. Tinnebaum gone? No, I don't know. I'm just doing Chris, I mean, Mr. Tinnebaum, a favor. I have a question. I'm probably not qualified, but I'll do my best. Where do babies come from, Mr. Harold? <laughs> uh, just Harold is fine. And, um, they come from two people. Then who are my parents? Oh. <laughs> Jesus. What? No, I don't mean the two people disappear. They become your parents. So it could be any two people? I think it's like uh, two people grow you and they give you to whoever's assigned to be parents? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, uh, good I enough. Mean, the growing part, not not the. When will I grow up, Mr. Harold? Wow. You only grow when you contribute to society. Oof. Felix. You'll grow up soon, but don't rush it. I, I mean, enjoy your youth while you... Why aren't you a teacher? Um, for many reasons, but mainly because... Why does flammable and inflammable mean the same thing? And you're not a teacher, you're a stranger. And I've always been told not to talk to strangers. Is today's lesson going to pick up from Cartesian dualism or move straight into Neoplatonism? Everyone, please slow down. Okay, now, who wants to learn about filter maintenance? Here you go, Harold. Thanks for holding down the fort. Thank you. This will do great. Hope they didn't give you too much trouble. No, no trouble at all. Great. Everyone say ciao to Mr. Halibut. Ciao, ciao Mr. Mr. Halibut. Halibut. Oh, all right then. Teach fish your language, huh? Destination chosen. Yeah, Harold Helm did himself all right, I guess. Except when he was about to, when he started getting swamped, and then, you know, the teacher came back. Thank you, Jax. Yo, fishy, I got a book. Let's go. Hello? Ah, they've gone back to sleep. Okay. Just stay calm, Harold. Radiate calm. Show them the book. Show them you're friendly. Start teaching an alien how to speak my language. Fishy? Wake up. I'm back. Wake up.
Yeah, I don't know if this is going to work. You want this book? <laughs> should make your own half. The, the fish just like exploded stomach. Professor. Oh, it's a I'm sure I'm starting to understand. Oh, it's kind of like clothing, Indeed. right? The translation device is ready. Oh. Oh, okay, let's see. Does it work instantly? Will they understand exactly what I'm saying now? Oh, I can understand you. <gasps> I can understand you. How did she make this translation device? Gosh, I'm glad you're okay. What are you? Oh, you're on board the Fedora. It's a ship. We're from Earth. Well, the ship is. Oh, sorry. Um, what's a ship? Oh, sorry. Uh, we're humans. Harold. Well, I see you're getting along just fine together. I've got some things I need to take care of urgently. I'll leave you two to it until I'm back. Why is the Very professor nice. not getting translated? I have so, so many, many questions. questions. Okay, then. It's been doing a lot of them recently. End of episode. How many days did we skip? Oh, a lot. How <laughs> showing all of these emotions at the moment? Yeah. I don't assume she's going to be missing. We have a lot of messages, of course. Hey Harold, you know, no, you must be busy, no worries. Just wondered if you'd see my message. Just wanted to run my new book idea by you. I assume it's trying to get us to go talk to them, but I, I don't remember where the fuck she even is. Harold, what's with all the brightly coloured crumbs on the lab table? Did you two... Did the two of you stay up late again? I can't work in this mess. Hit with the cleaning. Harold, my man. Say, my protein snacks from the TV lounge seem to have been snacked on. You know, those things aren't very good for you unless you're pumping iron too. Unless, did you start working out? If you need a training buddy, you know who to ask. Hey Harry, I was thinking about your alien fish friend. Clearly you really care about them. You'll tell me if it was more than a normal pet, right? Harold, I'm a man of science and everything has an explanation, but you have, have you experienced any ghost-like phenomenon in the lab uh, district recently? The other day, I'm sure I felt a presence think behind me. More collaborative evidence is needed. 
Oh, well, none of them gave me a thing to do. Oh. So, it's a community based around the energy-giving properties of the particles. Ah, Harold, join us. Hello, you two. Hello. Hello. Will you go on? Well, uh, yes. Uh, we get warmth in the air from them. And other things. Like food? Materials? And where do the particles come from? We aren't sure. There is a big glowing hole in the cave that feels very nice to be around, though. Harold, you didn't tell me this earlier. What? I... Oh, Moreau. I didn't really tell him. Not much changes back home. So I suppose no one thinks much about them. Oi, Faye. We need to see this hole. I'd love to see it, too. But how do we get there? Hmm. By the way, Professor, did you tell Wii U what you told me about the particles? I did. I suppose I owe Wii U here a thank you. My pleasure. I accept. Uh, Wii U, it's more like she means... I mean, let's retire for tea. No great plan was ever made without it. Uh, you sure about that? Thank you. It smells great, like flowers. Yes, don't tell Cyrus. He's stressed enough as it is without worrying about me stealing from his herbarium. Yeah, there's definitely a lot to keep track of. Like, whatever is going on with all water. Well, we don't know for sure. Only that they're hedging their bets on the launch procedure, and the CEO is acting strangely indeed. And then there's the Light Keepers. What's their plan in all this? Who knows? I'm wary, but at least they seem invested in the truth. And that means for now, they're on our side, whoever they are. I guess so. Be nice if they stop with the graffiti, though. What's the latest with our start procedure, by the way? My, my. T does make you talkative. Cyrus is working hard. I'm sure he'll iron out the problems he's having. It's just whether he'll iron them out in time. How do you feel about all this, Wii U? Oh, great. So much is going on. It's very exciting. And how about you, Harold? I'm just relieved we could help Wii U. Yes, you two clearly have a special bond already. Oh, uh, what is bond? It's something that keeps us close together. Oh, okay. Are you holding it? No, Wii U, okay. it's an invisible, emotional thing. Great, less to carry. Will you? Oh, Do you miss where you came from at all? Not really. I'll go back eventually, and that's okay. Well, I quite wondered if maybe you'd take Harold with you. Me? To the cave? Yes, to investigate the source of the particles. Of course, I want to go, but I can't just drop everything and people would notice me gone. But... me? And me. Don't worry, my boy. I'll be in close contact. And after all, haven't you been craving some adventure? Oh, sure, but what if I get the adventure wrong? No drowning, Just bed. be observing, taking readings, letting Ryu show you how things work. You trust him, right, Ryu? Sure. There'll be lots of Flumilim to meet, plenty of Malgaraha to see. What are Flumilim? Oh, that's a hard one to translate. It means things you can talk to. Like everyone back at the cave. But so they're people. I suppose it also means people like you. Oh, so it's the name for your kind? Well, it's all kinds. We've not needed any more detail before. And no one will mind if you don't call them Flumilim. Cool. It's just a bit confusing otherwise, don't, don't you think? <laughs> not for us. You will have so many classifications for everything. Even a person can be male or female. Now that's confusing. <laughs> I suppose that's true. So, do you not have, uh, two kinds of person? Not like how you're thinking. Don't worry about it. Just call us friends. Or our names. Okay, we will do. Great, then it's settled. Will you? You'll take Harold to explore the cave and meet the rest of the Flumilim. I can't believe it's gonna be me that sees it all for the first time. Yay. Oh. Yay. 
I can swim. How will Howl come with me? How? Oh, just follow me. I have a little God. something to show you both. That's only room for two people. Wait. We just jump down. Jump. Jump, Harold. Jump. That's how Harold breaks his neck, and then the game will be over. That'll be alright. Oh, that diving suit that's been here since the start of the game? No. Okay. Oh, God. This seems a bit... <laughs> We're talking to a fish person and there's a fucking fish head on the fucking wall. You didn't think about fucking taking that down? Jeez. That does not look safe. Whoa. I'd like to introduce you both to Jetsum, a little hobby project of mine. Used to be a space buggy meant for short range planetary surface analysis. And now it will be your means of visiting a very different kind of world. It's amazing. I'll look after it, I promise. Now, before you go, I've uploaded new firmware to your PDA. Oh, what does it do? Well, I developed an update it, to the Beth. translation software based on your discussions with Wii U for use with the PDA, so you don't have to schlep that huge machine around. Oh, neat. I call it Omnicom. Also, you should both take one of these. Where does this go? In your ear. It's an earphone. It connects to the PDA, so you can have real-time translation. Plus, it allows me to stay okay. in close contact with you. Very cool. And it'll work at long range? Fish just jam that into their eye. I developed a super efficient transmitter and new batteries for it all using some of Wii U particles. Glad to help. It'll mean that whatever happens, you can stay in contact with me in some shape or form. And Harold? Yes, Professor? Do not lose it. Oh, we're Unlike about to lose that it. Toaster, these aren't easily replaced. I won't. I'll be careful. The fuck did you lose a toaster, Harold? That should be everything you need. Hop in. I'll be on the radio, and I'm sure you two will look after each other. We you. Let's go visit your home. Thanks, Professor. Good luck, you two, and have fun. For me. We will. Right. Yeah, that doesn't seem like it's going to be. Uh, hello. Let's get that away. Can you see him here? Okay, um, I'm not sure what just happened, but like everything died. <laughs> um, bit annoying, but oh, okay, that's loud. Uh, bring that back. I think it even killed Discord for some reason. Alright, well, hopefully everything still works. Um, let me restart this as well. Oh. 
Thank you, Fab. Oh, that broke. Let me restart it again. 32 months, Fab. Damn. Gonna work this time? Yep, yeah, okay. Uh, looks like sound's going... Alright. Let's see if it breaks again. Oh. Really, I've got to... Got to do the whole lot again? Uh, well, that sucks. The skip doesn't skip very well either. Oh, God. Um, am I? The model's a bit choppy. The game is running a bit weird, too. Let's try loading the auto save and see what happens. No, that's the same. No, the game is... Mm, maybe it fixed itself. Game might be cursed. Yeah. No, it's still looking pretty... jittery. How is it looking for you guys? Hello, you two. Hello. And were you like food? And where it's fine, you reckon? There I'm... is a big glowing hole in the cave that no, maybe really it's nice moved it. Around, no, I don't know. You didn't tell me this earlier. Oh, I think it's I... moved itself out now. Oh. All right, skip, skip. Not much. Boy, Faye. I'd love to see it too, but how do we get there? Hmm. By the way, prof see, the skip I doesn't did. skip all the I... time. It's My, weird. Uh, we I mean, no great. Come on. Tin. Thank you. Yes. Don't be stressed. You're out there still. Like. Well, we don't. Only that they're. He and then there's the light. Skip. Who skip, knows? Skip. Skip. And that means for. I guess. What's the latest? My ma. Cyrus is. It's just where the hill. How do you. Oh, great. And how about you? How... I'm just really. Yes. Oh. It's something that. Oh, ma. No, we. Oh, we. You? you can see what I mean about the skips. Not very good, is it? Well. Me? Yes. Of course. I. But. And don't worry. I'll be in. Oh, you're just taking. You trust. It's like basically it just cuts cuts the audio and fast forwards all the animations. But oh, so but it's not consistent. Cool. Even <laughs> So. Don't worry about it. Okay. Great. Will you? You're... I can't believe it's. Oh, yeah. Ah. It feels like they've just like their animations are all tied to like one long chain instead of being split up. So they don't have a way to just cancel the conversation, that conversation's bit of animation. So they have to speed it up to catch up. It's a weird way to do it. Yeah, the game's feeling really, really jank at the moment. Looks like the devs were all artists, so yeah. Basically. Alright, five hours of going up the ladder that we can't speed up. Oh, 
Come on. Let's see if it crashes again. Yeah, like, even the audio bars on OBS are not looking good. Like, they're slow as well. I might need to restart the fucking computer. Might have fucked the graphics drivers. Oh. I'd like to. Used to be a space buggy. And now? It's a. Now. How long will we go? We only been going for an hour and a half, too. So you don't. Oh. I call it. Also. Where does this go? In your ear. Plus. Very cool. We'll see what happens. Glad to help. It'll mean that. I know we can quit in the middle because we did before. I won't. That should be every. I'll be on the radio. We you. Thanks, Professor. Good luck, you. We will. All right. Let's see if we crash again. I got Harold waves to the professor, and the professor's just like, "Get the fuck out of here." Oh, well, we didn't crash this time. Yeah, okay, I think it's safe. I then. think this panel shows. What happens if I push this? Whoa, too fast! This is fun! Come on, come on, come on, come on, stop swerving. Moreau will kill me if I dent her hobby project. I don't see how this vehicle is oh. doing well like in the ocean. Swim calmly now. Yeah. Whew. Getting so less light. Less light means bad distance. It's called dark. And yeah, getting very hard to see. <laughs> I know. It's chilly. Say how did you find your way to the fedora mm, it wasn't easy dark and chilly i don't like either but once i had started i just wanted to see what there was I had to keep going next thing i knew very light less chilly lots of owl then you shouting lots of owl. when you tell it like that it doesn't sound like a great experience worth it well, I'm glad it was worth it, and that you kept going. On that note, how are we going to get to your place? No worry, I can see. What, in the dark? No, it's more like the right direction glows for me. Oh, everything on the fedora is signposted, so we don't even have to think about how to get somewhere. Glowing directions sound much more fun. So oh, you can direct it's a me giant there? creature in the background. Yep. I can see the way clearly. And I'd better turn on the proximity sensors in the dark. I really don't want a lecture from Moreau. Okay, Wii U, you're the boss. Take us away. Once we get, like, control again, I might restart the computer. We're almost there now. Be careful. The entrance tunnel is very narrow. Okay, I think I see it going to be a tight squeeze. We're here? We're really here? Yep. This is the place. Good job, Howell. Now we just have a short swim. Oh. Swim? I hadn't thought about that. Very short. It'll be fine. Let's go. Yes, very short for someone that can breathe in the water. Well, it didn't auto save. It was just the save from the chapter. So there had been no save. Oh, look. 
Help, I've made a clay, I can't swim. Come on, Howell. It's not so hard. Well, he's never been oh. in a large body of water, I assume. Finally. He was born land. underwater. Yeah. Oh, I'm on land. Real alien land. Uh, what do you mean? It's just a bit of rock. Come on up. So much rock. Real rock. Bumpy and slightly warm. And... I didn't see yes. an auto save. Uh. It's okay. It's rock. Ah, oh, Wii U. It's just that the fedora. It's all metal. It's not real ground. I've never walked on anything made of real rock before. Okay. Would you like some? What? I mean, sure. No idea. Guess. Thanks. Walking on it is kind of. Then you could always have your foot on a rock. Thanks, Wii U. Soon. We'll get there. Wow. We're nearly there. I can't quite believe it. There. Where? Wherever there is. Wow. What's going to be there? It's so cool to finally be here. I still can't quite believe it. It's exciting not knowing what I'm gonna <laughs> see. Dialogue. It could be anything. And I'll be the first human to see whatever it is. And what are you okay, Howell? This is your home? Well, not my. Our. Our place. <sighs> Come on, we're not there yet. More to see. Okay. There's a save I reckon. Right. So this doesn't matter. Alright. I am going to restart my PC because things are running a bit weird. I will not be too long, I hope. So don't go anywhere. Be back soon. Hello, hello. I'm back, I think. Testing one, two. Can you hear me? Things look to be back to, to normal now, so... Okay. Let's just get back to it then. Gonna have to stitch this VOD back together again. So Gotta love doing that. Is the cave. Oh, actually, should wait a little bit. Uh... I assume half still busy. Checks, gas, are you guys still around? Maybe, maybe not. Just wondering if I should wait just to make sure people have refreshed and stuff. Um, don't worry about it. I suppose story is the story. All right. That's cheating gas. Just making sure I have everything going. I think everything's going. <laughs> All right, it's... here we go. Whoa, magical. So much space. Wee what is everything? Where do you get food? What are your jobs? How does everything work? You'll see. One thing at a time. Yeah, it is running a lot better now. So I'm not sure what the game crash did, but it did fuck up something.
Where is everyone? Average American in a foreign country. Hmm. Where's the oil? <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, Howell, I've got to take care of something, but I'll be back soon. Oh, sure. Should I wait somewhere? Oh, yes. At the waiting bench. Sounds cozy. Hello. That means hi there. I thought it might. Tell them I say hi back. Will do. Okay, let's go. Sit cozy, Howell. Back soon. Oh, she just fucking walked through the wall. Uh, have you seen SpongeBob here? Like to ignore people here. Maybe I should introduce myself. I don't want to get off on the wrong foot. So, uh, greetings. I offer you human greetings. Hmm. Is the translator not working? Let's see. Hello? Maybe it needs more calibrating. <laughs> so you come here often? God damn it. How are you finding the weather in here? Yeah. How are you finding the weather in here? I think it's nice in here. Warm but not clammy. And no sudden trots when you change rooms. <laughs> so, you come here often? Gosh. This reminds me of one time I was waiting in the all-water reception office. I was stuck in there with Nellie Hootsalot for an hour, and I to tell Fuck you, me. she was not a lot of hoots. Burp. Do you know Wii U? Gurp. Or Gurp. I mean, I haven't known Wii U for that long, but I do feel like we get each other. Same wavelength. You know? What's the latest news in the case, then? Not too talkative, huh? It's a great conversation. So, what are you waiting for? Burp. Ah, that. Oh. Well, it was nice meeting you. And like Moreau always said, Never say more than you need to. Air and time are more precious than extra words. Donk. Oh, hi. Opa. Oh, I'm Harold. Nice to meet you. Hi, Opa. Ah, I'm sorry. It was an accident. I'm just clumsy sometimes. No, no, no. Uh -huh. Time to make music. Uh, -huh. uh sure. Staying in the right place. Yeah. What the fuck am I meant to be doing? leave all right hey Harold 
helped you, Mus. You know, oh no, no, we read these, didn't we? It's just because we had to restart the fucking whole level. Neighbor is barbecue. Wish I had a burger. Order one. Oh, hello. Data check. Ah, uh, translator needs some more calibration, I think. Data chum. Hello. Oh, hello. What's this place? Hmm, trying to understand you. Oh, um, am I? God damn it, Harold. Too fast. What's in the cave? Loud and slow as you want. Still talking nonsense to me. Oh, right. Without an earpiece translator, it only works one way. I'll just be quiet, and maybe you'll happen to explain. Wonder if you understand me. It's unusual. Lumbly gloop? Or anything else? Oh, so I can lumbly gloop here. Or. Oh, you do know lumbly. Is he asking me for it? Or offering? Sorry, don't know what else to say. This booth is fascinating. But I think I better try it again with Wii U. Okay. Down or up? Uh, oh, up is nothing. Go down there just yet, maybe. Hi, you don't mind me invading your personal space, do you? You don't seem to care. So, um, Harold's still trying things? to talk. Uh, what do you say? Uh, yeah, they're not going to be able to understand me. It's supposed to be quiet here anyway. So just sit and gloopo. I wonder what gloopo is. Or art. Maybe the things in the nooks? I don't know why you're talking in gibberish. But please, shh. Oh, I guess it's important to be quiet here. Out of respect, maybe? Shh. God damn it, Harold. Be careful. It's all very sensitive still at the moment. Don't touch. Ah, please don't touch. We're not quite ready yet. Okay. Seems like I was meant to go down that, um, little pathway. Uh, 
Oh, there's another. Don't know how I missed those stairs, but. Hi. Uh, here. Oh. Thank you so much. Fish in a bubble. Fish in a bubble. <laughs> Okay. Wait, what? I'm confused. Oh, hello there, little ones. Yes, come on, this way. Follow us for tickety. Oh. Okay. POV art student. Oh, I wonder what that was down that other little alleyway. Hey, Retro. How you doing, buddy? I think we we're about to get sacrificed. Lose control and then get control. Do the dance, Harold. Oh, fusion. Oh, it is. It fucking is. Get fucked. Throw in random DVC reference. How bad can it be? We done? Apparently, we done. your prime sub it didn't pop up but thank you if it turns up at some point hope you're doing well retro what are you doing up at this hour anyway is it, is it what what do you think is happening no idea getting a greeting ritual badly wrong <laughs> No. You're just playing around with those cheeky kids. I think they love you now. What? So okay. I'm not offending everyone? Well, you're not exactly being polite. But I think everyone is pleased to laugh at the funny alien. Hang on. Do you remember Pineapple Helga? Of course. Such pointy hair. And lovely long shoes. Is it like when the mini yetis did the snowball dance? Yes. 
They would have kept on doing the tick 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 anyway, but they were glad to have someone new to show it to. Okay, I think I get it. I think I'm beginning to understand a bit about how you all think. Yes, you'll get there. Just like when Helga has to imitate a seal to get to the ice cave. Will you? Can I ask you something? Of course. Thanks, Retro. Did you tell them I was coming? <laughs> it's going to be a lot easier if I just show you around before trying to answer. Come on. Oh, I don't get to ask the other questions? Huh? What's up, guess? Hello there. Diva chick. Hi. Could you give my friend here a little something? Sure. A blue pro be okay. Here you go. Uh, will you? Mm, no. Give him the blooper dupe. Just like fucking throw it on the ground. This one looks much better. Go on. Um, go on to do. Keep the crow up. Oh man. Oh, right that's what we did. We did that already. And it farted at us. No. Okay. Great. Come with. Come this time with. we got a rainbow thread. Alright. Sure. Now watch. Oh, trust me, I will. So we tie the uh, crazy like so, and oh, you make a noose. How nice! Then bubble fish. Wow, that's how you fish. Yep, bubble fish. Oh, but I mean, isn't it a bit weird that you? What is weird? Oh, uh, never mind. So. We, you, I have a question. And I have an answer. But you don't know what the... It's Tidemo. Not this time it's not. I don't get the purpose of using a fish to make a rope to then catch another fish with? Aha. Uh -huh. You can see why, right? Yes, but things just work like that here. It's not always how it looks. So what is going on? Hmm, how to explain? Things work in cycles. Maybe having a fish isn't the same as getting a fish. When we turn something into something else, it's not just the old thing and the new thing. There is a thing that escapes. We call it the new min. It is a something that is nothing, but it's important to have. Right. So, something is also nothing, and nothing can be a something? Tidemo. Just like I said. Sure. all that concerns about the water conspiracy we don't have to worry about that stuff ah what's this one um well the zoop soup yes are you hungry i'm a bit peckish yeah is there somewhere nearby yes yes right here what's happening now well it's uh, oh. the result is lumberly glue oh right of course very tasty let's enjoy oh i will but shouldn't we pay or something no we don't really pay here the food is free it's not free because it's all free we help each other and eventually it all evens out no one really keeps track anyway wow 
That's such a simple system. Data check. Glad to see you enjoy. Always good to data check with a new limb. Oh, I'm not actually a fish. I'm human. By the way, he's saying he's a human. Fish, human, lumberly glue. Ha, I see. Thanks. I can't wait to try it. Bye. What is going on? Let's eat. This looks surprisingly delicious. Yes, it's very healthy because of the minerals in the pond and the blah blah blah, blah. and then oh we're being drugged <clears throat> what yes yum it's good for you how are you okay oh sorry were you i zoned out but i'm super okay there's just so much that is so new it's a bit overwhelming malgaraha was that a yawn or a fishy word oh oh I thought you were watching the... Well, it's like the way the light reflects from the ripples in the clear water on the cave walls and reminds you of a good time with a friend. A bit like now? Precisely. I see what you mean. It's beautiful. I see something similar in the herbarium sometimes, but I never really had anyone to share it with. This is what friends are for. It's so crazy here, Wii U. Amazing. But so different. It's pretty cool that we can understand each other, at least. Yes. I think so. But maybe you can't understand a lot of our things. Oh, and you understand everything human? Well, yes. Humans are so unpredictable and complicated. There is almost nothing to understand. Wow. Or like... The all-water tube system? I was going to say fizzy bubbles, but okay. And so, you really don't have money here? No. Okay, that's the one thing I really don't get about humans. Well, it's just a trade thing, but you can trade really easily with it. But some people have more than others. Why is that? I um, some people are more important. Remind me what is important. Um, take Moreau. She's cleverer than anyone. We all need her science. Ah, but her science wouldn't mean anything without everyone else to use it. Ryu, this is making my head hurt. Then let's go. Next part of the tour. Well, uh, I guess we did. We're being... We ran into this fish person last stream, I guess. They, um, we kind of found them in the filter system and hurt them. And we were trying to kill them and now we were able to talk to them and they took us to their home. Explaining flaws in capitalism, yeah, <laughs> that's what's happening at the moment. Okay, Wii U, so what is this place? I really couldn't figure it out. It's a library. What? There aren't any books. Not all books. Osmosbo. Wii U, I'm going to need a bit more of a translation. Okay. It's just that... So... Osmos is... Just knowing. That's the best I can just do. Just knowing. And Osmosbo are those jellies. You can just know through them. Wow. So it's like a book you don't have to read. Yes, but I don't really know how they... I mean, how to explain how they work. Okay, cool. So... That's nothing for us to worry about. Come on, more to see. Okay. Not allowed to know about that stuff. So, what are they doing? Aha. Uh -huh. Just wait. They're building something? Oh, or maybe it's going to be a kind of game. Very soon now. You will hear. Oh, okay. I think I get it. <sighs> what an amazing sound. It's nice, isn't it? 
I could thrum. The, the song? Or the style of music? No. Well, neither really. The way we make music is more... in the moment. So, they don't practice? Is it a jam? I thought jam was for your toast. Yes, but it's also the word we use for when music is, um, improvised. Like, made up there and then. Well then, yes. That, with people watching, is thrum. Right, well, whatever it is, I love it. And I love jam. I wish we'd brought some. Uh -oh. Harold, are you there? Oh, hi, Professor. How are you doing? What? I'm fine. Where are you? Just had some lunch. There's lots to see. Harold, I'm quite sure there is. But may I remind you, you're not there on holiday. Ah, I know. The particles. I'll get right on it. Speak to you soon, Professor. Good luck, Harold. Don't do anything I would do. Over and out. Wee, that was Moreau, reminding us to check out the particles. Ah, uh, yes. Right this way. <laughs> All right. Can I at least like run or something? Because like we walk slower than who we're following. Uh, okay, so we're going down the path that I accidentally found. No, never. Not allowed. <laughs> so we got the particles. Here we are. Oh, it's. Beautiful. So cool. So, what happened to the other flumalum that tried to go down there? Others? Um, what do you mean? Well, hasn't anyone tried going down there before? No. It's just... There. We know the particles can be used for energy. They come up. Why would we go down? To find out what's down there. Maybe it could bring up loads of particles at once. But we don't need more particles at once. Wow. Okay. So, it's never been explored? Well, I suppose there was that one Flemingham kid who explored it. What? And what did they say? Not much. He never came back. Oh, rip. We assume he's happy down there. Yeah. And now that I think about it, there was one older Flumilim who went or fell down. Maybe they're still down there together. Okay. I think I'm going to call Moreau now. How do you work this thing? Harold, is that you? Oh, hi, Professor. How are you doing? What? Don't ask me! Have you found the particles? Hi, Professor. Wii U says hi, by the way. And yes, we found them. They're coming from a giant hole in the ground. A hole? Can you get down there? Well, Wii U says a couple of Flumalim have been down before, but they never came back. It looks kind of deep. Okay, don't try and go down there, Harold. Is there anyone or thing there with more information on the hole? There is a kind of library, but... There is or there isn't? What's the problem? It's just that the books are... jelly. So, go to the library! <laughs> I don't care if the books are jelly or custard! Find some information on it you can bring back! Thanks, okay, Professor. Wish me luck. I 
not going to be allowed to bring the the library stuff back. We're going to go touch the jellies and go on a trip, I guess. Does Harrod Edward blink? I think that's a no. God damn, he uses stairs. Learned at the edge of the universe. Yep. Hello again, librarian. I was wondering, do you have any jellies on the crack with the particles? Are they? What are you saying? He's new. He says, do we have any jellies about the glowing hole? Well, I believe so. You may need to test a few. I've not really labeled them. Ah, great. So. Uh, how do I read them? It's hard to explain, but just hold one close to your head and be calm. And not try too hard. A bit like how memories work. Okay. Is there any way to know what each jelly is about? Just give any of them a go. I'm sure they're all full of great stuff. Okay. Yeah! It didn't like being red. Ryu, can you show me? Uh, um, it's definitely more fun if you figure it out for yourself. Oh, I'd thanks. I'd love to, but Moreau is probably getting antsy. I think we'd better get back to her before she gets annoyed and puts me on shelf duty again. So, Ryu, how do I read these things? Oh, how long? Actually, I can't. If it's hard to explain, I'll just watch. Read. I can't understand the jellies. What? But you explained it to me. Yes. Well, we all know the theory. Oh, that's okay. You know, I'm not great with human books. Half the time, the letters in a word seem to rearrange themselves. Can I just encourage you? Breathe deep. When your mind feels empty, stick your nose into it and remember what's in the jelly. <laughs> stick your nose into it. We'll okay. figure it out together. Let's give this a shot. Yep, I can come completely understand this. Why is it this human hands in that? What's that all about? Doesn't seem like this one tells us anything useful. wild but it doesn't seem related to the crack at all yeah these don't seem related to these people at all it's not about the fish people there's humans all over the fucking place what's going on Oh, there's that sushi you wanted. A lot of 
of stuff about anemone shrimps, but nothing Even about before the this was Earth all along. Oh, so we're planet to planet of the aping this, are we? It's possible. It is possible. This one definitely has some interesting stuff about the crack. Did it? Did it? <laughs> oh, just oh, straight into the water. RTX on. <laughs> Wii U, do you want to try and explain? You should try. I'll practice. Ah, okay. Um, excuse me, librarian? Hmm, me? Could I possibly take a book? I mean, a jelly? He says he wants a jelly. He may, but you will have to treat it with utmost care and find a suitable vessel to transport it in. Oh, okay, and where might one... He asks where to find such a vessel. You could begin by asking around town in case... Oh wait, never mind. Looks like I've got one. Uh... Thanks. He says Just thanks. a plastic bag. Well, I got that part. Bye. Hello, Harold? Professor, I managed to find a jelly that... Harold! What did we discuss about you not being on holiday? No, no, Professor. The books here are jellies. You have to... Well, anyway, I found one. And I had to kind of sniff it. And I have info on the crack. Harold, I know you're excited, but please can you stop talking such nonsense? Professor, not... just shut up and fucking the listen for once. I can bring the jelly back to the fedora. Just bring the thing back and we'll try to yeah, make sense of it. Yeah, we sniff the crack. Yeah. And you. We'll do, Professor. Back shortly. It's getting late. Let's go to my place to relax. That sounds Sis fun. drugs, yeah. But how do you know what time it is? Can't you feel the magnetics? The, the what? Feel how? Oh. Well, the slight changes in the glow combined with the slight heaviness we feel in our toes because of the lateness. Okay. I mean, that's crazy cool, but I don't think it's going to apply to us humans anytime soon. Shame. Well, I feel it's tea time. Come on. All right, so I'm, it is seeming like we're probably on Earth. Well, they thought Earth got fixed, but then it probably got wrecked again. Like, they're carrying a plastic bag with the jelly. Like, I don't see them making plastics here. Nautilo, meet Powell. Ahoy there, Nautilo. Nice flowers. He says hello, and he likes your flowers. Thanks, but they're not flowers. They're more, uh, they're more like sponges with a hard lower root. They need water, but if they're underwater, they're not sponge anymore. Um, they're very loyal. I think they're great. 
Enjoy. He's impressed. And he says he hopes you continue to gain pleasure or satisfaction from your continued interactions with them. He said all that. Yes. Sorry, this translation business is confusing. <laughs> Thanks, Wii U. Anyway, come in. Come in. Nice place. Thanks. My home is your home. Take a look around. Is this coral? Yep. I found it when exploring outside the cave. Like they probably say I shouldn't. Why would they say that? We're supposed to be happy with everything here. And I am. It's really swell. But... I think that it's also swell to see other swell things outside of the cave. No one else ever leaves? I don't think so. Wouldn't it be sad if we'd never met? Of course, it'd be. I don't even want to think about it. Mind you, I don't want to think about how we met either. <laughs> and what is this? That's Juna. It's a skull? It's a friend. Must make for a one-sided conversation, but okay. You should say hi. Hi there, Juna. Is that a sneaker? Sneaker? Is that what it's called? I've been wondering for ages. It's what made me want to explore further. I wanted to know where it came from. Yeah, it's a sneaker. You wear it on your... Well, not your feet. Human feet. Oh. Do you want it back? I don't mean it's mine. Did you show it to anyone else? No. They wouldn't even have cared. For them, nothing exists beyond the cave. But where did they come from? Maybe long ago, from far away. Sometimes we need to get into the waters just outside, but never to go far. They just sit around and stay happy. I mean, that doesn't sound so bad. I know. But once you know there's more, Happy isn't the same, is it? Hmm. True. I guess I haven't been happy for a while. But I guess I can be quite good at calm. Is calm nice? I think no calm is the reason I'm no good with the jellies. Yeah, I don't think about it too much. You just have to think, what does it matter? What does what matter? No matter, no what. I see. Calm is not all the time, but when you sit and forget about yourself. Hmm. Huh? So I forget I'm Wii U? But what if I don't remember again? <laughs> I can't say I've ever had that problem. Thanks, Haru. I think I can try calm much better now. <sighs> this has been a pretty crazy day. Yes. Let's end it and regain consciousness in a new one. Yeah. Sleep sounds good. Night, Wii U. Okay. And Wii's just gonna sit there looking at us sleeping, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> morning, Wii U. Well, you probably don't have mornings, do you? Mm, not like on the Fedora, but there is still a right time to get up. How long have you been awake? A little while, but then I had a wander around and a nap. Did you sleep well? Yeah, surprisingly well. Feels so peaceful here. Yes. Always something clanging on the ship. Anyway, come on. Submarine time. Yeah. I'm near the fuck out of you. <laughs> Why did you draw it on Wii's head? Fucking Harold. If 
Five hours slow walk out of here. Hat. But yeah, I wouldn't put it past that that the people on the ship are that stupid that they probably turned it around and went back to Earth without realizing it. took off and landed in the ocean. Oh, I don't think it happened straight away because they did... Well, at the start of the game, they did claim that they went to other planets and picked up new types of resources. But, yeah, I don't know. And, oh no, we, we know we crash, like we, like, because the crash happened, I don't know how many years ago, I could say like 40 years ago, because there's people on the ship that survived, like, that they're, like, people we talked to, um, that survived the crash. And... They knew people, know people that went on planetary exploration, so they've they've definitely gone to space. But where we are at the moment is, it's also possible that the sneaker that they got and the plastic bag is just stuff that's floated near to their. To their place after the crash but this would have been so funny <laughs> I guess yeah it's going to be strange getting back to the fedora yeah typically new pollution yeah not through a filter though <laughs> yes and we'll be back soon with the others what do you think the others will think of it here? Huh. The others. Yeah. Alright. Bring other people back. Steal the source of their, their particles, their life force. Yep. Human Professor. things. Professor. Yes, Harold. I know you're excited. It's more than that. It, it's wow. Everything. I mean... The jelly books, the beautiful lights, but we used it. And then there were his neighbors. Everyone was so friendly. They had this great way of making bubbles. You don't pay for anything. Please, my boy, you must. I know, I know. But they weren't freaked out by me at all. They were just content with whatever. You could easily just move straight in. Harold! Interesting. Oh. Interesting indeed. What? Who? <sighs> when? That, Harold, is what I was trying to tell you. Oh. Oh, no. I didn't mean... Rip. <sighs> yes. <clears throat> Indeed. I understand. Come on. Good work. Everyone's mean to Harold anyway. You could just say it's one of his weird delusions. Hello, yes. He's just having a mental break. Everything in motion. Don't spare the whip. What? No, of course I don't mean an actual whip. Now get cracking. Oh. What's with the suit? Oh, right. Oh, well, they're off to fuck off. Fuck up a... Uh, a peaceful race, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 
why build this shit? Oh, they put a, a water tube to here. Okay, right. How many days did that take? 14. Okay, wow, here we are. It's been a wild couple of weeks. And Wii U, it's so good to finally meet you. Hello. Oi. John, everything okay? Hmm. Oh yes, it's nothing, carry on. Oh, if you say so. So, Wii U, I've heard so much about you. I'm Bridget, in case you didn't know. Okay. Right, well, okay. just so you're aware, I'm sometimes known as the energy bacteria lady. I think it's because I positively grow on you. Oh god, kill me. Oh, great. Uh, I can see we're gonna get along just fine. So is everyone as excited as I am? Sure. Um... Oh, you're wise to be a little circumspect, Wii U. What can you tell us about it, though? It's nice in there. Very Malagaraha. Very what now? Could you be a bit more specific? You know, this could be the answer we've been looking for. It's like I said in my report, Professor. The Flumalim don't really seem to be curious about it at all. Harold, you wrote a report? Well, just a little one. Howell's right. We really don't know much about it. I think it's probably very nice down there. Right. Well, okay. Let me reiterate the purpose of this expedition. We know the particles are a source of energy, but they're unstable and decay too fast on their own. Expedition. Yes, so they want to steal the. It's imperative right. we get down there and take some readings. If we can learn where they come from, you can wreck it down there, yeah. Produced, we might be able to engineer a solution. I hope you have more luck than Cyrus is having. Indeed. In the meantime, Bridget will be leading the mission prep from here while I continue research from back at my lab. And what shall we do? Oh, you're both essential to the plan. We just haven't quite figured out in what way yet. That's okay. Oh, okay. Just keep yourself available, Harold. We'll let you know as soon as we know something. If you're really at a loose end, I'm sure Cyrus would appreciate some moral support. Okay, well, we'll be around. Will you, shall we take a walk, check on a few people? Sorry, I've got something else I need to do. Huh? Really? Uh, yes. Sorry. Oh, sure, it's just that... Yeah, sorry. I just got used to having you around. But you're right, I'm being silly. You go do your thing, I'll catch up with you soon. Oops, yes. that made a mistake. I'll come and find you as soon as I'm done. Okay, let's get to it, everyone. Exciting times! Just one second, Harold. What's up? No easy way to say this. Buddy has moved on. You mean, he's finally retired? Who will deliver all the... No, no he's dead. I mean, he's left us. He died, Harold. Oh. Oh, Buddy. I know you two had become close. I'm sorry. He was a ray of light. Always running through the dark halls of Fedora. There'll be a funeral and a memorial run in his honor back on the ship soon. I'll be there. Oh, buddy. Was it? Yes. Peaceful. Professor? Yes, Harold? Nothing. Sorry. It's just. I mean. Say no more, Harry. I know. Now, let's get going. Get all funeral. She looks like she's in a trance. Hey, Strix.
Oh, that's what's up the top there. That's where they put the stupid fucking border tube thing. to me to say a few words just in time huh buddy and i would often share a jog together and despite his age he would always give me a run for my money on our jogs and often afterwards over a refreshing fish soup and cold beer i came to realize something buddy was like the lifeblood of this station surging up and down its corridors delivering information keeping everyone connected it's gonna be a colder place without him but he left me instructions that i shouldn't ramble on at his funeral <laughs> but instead i should play a video that he prepared for the occasion is it running Yep, you're good to go. Hi, everyone. If you're watching this, uh, it means I'm not around to deliver your mail and whip you all into shape in person anymore. I didn't want to trouble anyone with writing a long eulogy, so I recorded my own. My life wasn't much to write home or to anywhere about. I grew up while we were still floating around in space. Life wasn't much different, really. If anything, there's more to see out of the windows now. After we crashed, I think people felt sad that we weren't going to see new worlds. But as I got older, I realized that each person aboard the ship was a world of their own. So I became a postman, and it meant I got to visit lots of new worlds every day. Of course, back then we didn't have the tube system, so I had to be a bit more creative with how I got around the ship. Especially the broken bits. It made me realize the importance of staying in shape and being flexible. Where the body goes, the mind follows after all. And so, I wanted to leave this little collection of personal fitness and mind healthiness tips so that even when I'm gone, I keep delivering smiles to you all. Oh, one last thing. I've arranged for my ashes to be delivered to the seas of this planet that has become our home. That way, some little parts of me will always be moving. <sighs> Was that okay? Yep. <laughs> Just fine. Okay, now, let's get moving. Take a deep breath. It's time to shake off those cobwebs. Okay. It's like one of those fucking... TV workout shows from the fucking 90s. It's gonna dump him into the tube system. Okay. Those have more bulges. God. Please remember the all-water tube system will shortly be closing for the night. 
Fucking everyone's just gone. Mr. and Mrs., have you considered something pill? All needs one pill guaranteed to make very good muchness of everything. First 10 pills, 75. God. Harold, have you, have you the heard the one about the sad janitor? He's always mopping around. That's a, that's a bad time to send a joke, huh? I want to hear by formally request your presence at the nearest dis resolution in procedure integrity office within the next seven days. Failure to attend will be met with a fine. Non-payment of which within two days will be met with repossession proceedings. Now that it's come to our attention that you may have only received blood due to some routine database rejuvenation. If you have already made a deposit to the dispute settlement firm, please get in touch, blah, 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 blah. Why does the sending it back go all the way back? To have it all water is pleased to invite you to a public opening of the new tube route to the cave. Your local blah blah blah. Uh, the new all water cultural li liaison department is pleased to unveil a new our top tips for travelers to the newest tube destination. Follows the steps to ensure a polite, pleasurable, and non-humiliating trip. When meeting a flume, whatever. The preferred method of acknowledgement is waggling your fingers upright, palm facing outwards. On no account must you perform a side wiggle, side waggle. This is considered highly rude. The fishy's way of life is wavy and relaxing. Hurrying and scurrying around is considered foolish and certainly won't help speed anything up. Fit in by going with the flow. If you're lucky enough to witness a fishy play performance, the correct way of showing your appreciation is by uh, gurgling. Clapping is considered noisome and will risk confusing the play performance. Stay tuned for future blah blah blah. Go to sleep. Alright. Fish, the fish finally left. Oh, a package. Wait. This looks like Buddy's treasure trove. Why could he have wanted to leave it to me? So many letters. But why? Oh, I'm too tired to go through all of them and figure it out now anyway. I'll try tomorrow with a fresh head. I think you'd approve of me pacing myself. Right, buddy? Oh, well, what secrets will we uncover? But he didn't die. He was murdered. He knew the truth. His head is in the 
the box. God damn it. Wow. We're at okay, four point two. Uh, where is this thing? Did I accidentally close it? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bits left. Like we're halfway through chapter, well, we're not halfway through chapter four, but there's four parts to chapter four and we're on the start of part two. Yeah, what are three? Maybe we stop here and we'll finish the game next stream. Maybe, maybe I'll stream tomorrow just to get the game done. Sounds like a play. Like we went through, what did we go through today? Um, so we went from 2.4 to finishing 4.1 so we did what uh one two three four five six seven eight nine of them this stream but we did have some fuck ups so like you know the stream the game crashing which fucked up everything and I had to restart the pc and stuff but all right yeah i think we'll call it here for for today why it says it's only been one hour yeah game like crashed and it like killed a lot of things on my pc and i loaded everything back up but um the game was being stuttery and stuff um so then i gave the pc a restart all right let's press that button i think i pressed it yeah there it goes all right. This game is taking a bit longer than I thought it would. But that's okay, I guess. The story... The story is still somewhat interesting. Like, this theory that we're actually on Earth is interesting. We're probably not. But, like, it makes no sense that the jellies are showing Earth stuff. So, I don't know. Alright, let's see. Um... Might be the people making it being very into mixed media. Highly likely. Highly likely. Where do you just want to go? Do you want to go visit Bear playing a Unicorn Overlord, or would you like to visit Saki playing Phoenix Wright? Or would you like to not get raided anywhere and you can just go wherever the fuck you want? Haven't raided Bear in a bit, this is true. I don't think we've raided Saki in a bit either, but... We'll go to Bear. Alright, everyone. Thanks for hanging out. And, yeah, I will... 
catch you tomorrow, I guess. Otherwise, we're going to wait a while for another stream. So, yeah, I'll try and stream tomorrow and finish this game off. Get yeah, game quotations. Take it easy, everyone. Say hi to Bear. Bye-bye. Thank for the pod stream pod wiki. Poggers. <laughs> no, I didn't. I hissed. I went shh. shh.